Hi guys, alright, so I'm trying to get back into filming. Um, things have been very, very crazy. Um, really for the last month, actually the last two months, our life went from just crazy to hectic. Um, so let me kind of fill you in on what went on <laughs> in February, because I, I think I went over what happened in January, I think. If not, I'm sorry, and just leave it in the comments, and then I will do a video about it, but I'll do, because I know I have not really talked about what happened in February. On February 9th, well actually it started before that, I can actually probably give you better dates, I actually was, um, from about the 3rd to the 7th, Mikey and Tiny both had a cough. Um, Mikey, but Mikey always has a cough. Um, then it was like the 6th that Tiny started with a fever and we just kind of tried to keep the kids away from Maddie as much as possible. Um, on the 7th, February 7th, Maddie started with a cough and we went, oh great, okay, let's... Let's see. Um, then on the 8th, um, that night of the 8th, that was Saturday night, she started to get really bad. Um, but we didn't take her to the emergency room that night because um, the emergency rooms were already really full. And, you know, neither one of us slept. But it was a, we felt comfortable keeping her home. At that point, we had a the coolest uh, humidifier going right next to um, the crib. Um, we kept clearing her nose out, uh, but she was having definitely a hard time breathing. Um, so on the 9th, we brought her to the emergency room um, in the early afternoon, and they did the POSOX, which um, she was getting for the oxygen. It was about 85, so it wasn't really that great. Um, but they felt comfortable sending us home and all that, um, but she did have RSV, but they said just go home because unfortunately with RSV, there's nothing that they can do for it, they can just help the symptoms, which, you know, putting them on, uh, uh what is it called? Can't think of the little thing, well, the, the device that gives them the oxygen and things like that, um. Umembulizer. Um, they felt comfortable just putting her on that, um, but we also had an appointment the next day at the big hospital with um, her nutritionist and her GI specialist. So, um, so we went on the 10th, February 10th. And hold on, because I know you guys want to see her. Here's a little cupcake. Well, she wasn't happy. Um, so we went to nutrition on the 10th, and um, they weren't happy that uh, she hadn't gained. Um, she was still sitting at her 9 pounds, 14 ounces. So and this was like at 10 o'clock. I got my, that appointment at 11, and my appointment for GI was supposed to start at 11. Got into that appointment, well, I was brought back, and I was just sitting there for, like, a good hour, just going, okay, like, because I told them I could not do 12.30, because that's originally what they asked me to do, and I said I couldn't do 12.30, I had to get out of the, you know, I had to get to work. So, we, I sat there, it was like, 12.15 that the doctor finally walked in and I said, she's like, oh, how are you doing? And I'm like, okay, but I got like, you got 15 minutes because I gotta get to work. And she's like, well, we are admitting Maddie. So, um, so, um, they were admitting her for her weight, but also for the breathing. Um, huh. So, Huh. She was there, so she was admitted Monday, 
Uh, she did okay Tuesday um, in terms of eating. Not really that great. Uh, we dealt with the fact that she does not like to take a bottle from Mama at all. Huh. She doesn't like to take a bottle from me. She'll take it sometimes, but she prefers to breastfeed. Huh. You'll take a bottle from Daddy, but not from Mama. So, and I was with her, uh, Mike was with her Monday night into Tuesday night. I was with her Tuesday night to Wednesday night. Wednesday night to Thursday night, nobody was with her. Um, but I guess at night she had some issues eating, but not too much. And then Wednesday, I mean, uh, Thursday into Friday, nobody was with her. But that night they decided to put in an IV. Um, but at that point she refused to eat. She kind of hit her wall of, okay, I'm done. Um, they kind of figured that once mommy and daddy got there, because we were going to be with her the whole weekend, that maybe she would eat better, and she did not. Um, and of course, every morning we were being told by a nurse, oh, well, they're probably going to put in a feeding tube, and they didn't do it. So it was Monday the 17th, the day before my birthday, that while we were sitting there, they said, well, we're just going to put in the feeding tube. That's it. Um, and at that point, I went, oh my gosh, she'll never come home. Because uh, with Tiny, they put in a feeding tube, and they told us she couldn't go home with a feeding tube in. So I just kind of thought that was a, a policy. But also with Tiny, they put it in. I want to say it was day one that they put it in. Uh, now, Maddie here, it was, let's say, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, she had been there seven days, and then they finally put in the feeding tube. Um, on the 18th, Tuesday the 18th, we were told, you know, basically, she, you know, her nutritionist kind of had some sympathy on us and went, Let's get her home, because, you know, granted she was a smiley, happy little girl, but you could you could tell she wanted to be home with mommy and daddy, and brother and sister. Huh. So, anyways, <laughs> so they said if we were, um, if we felt comfortable using the tube, and we were trained using the tube, Miss Moki. No, she doesn't belong on the table. But anyway, so she, um, the nutritionist basically said if we were okay using the tube, she'd send us home with the tube. So I went in on the 19th. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I went in on the 19th. I learned how to use the tube. They taught Mike how to use it on the 18th. And then on the 20th, um, we brought her home with the tube. So... That was our stay. Um, we were there basically seven days before they put in a tube. Um, they did a lot of blood work. They did an EKG. They did another ultrasound at the top of her head because she had a um, bulging soft spot again, um, which they're saying is definitely caused when she puts on too much weight at one time. So, it's like it's too much for her. So, and during that whole time, those 10 days, um, I still worked. Um, it was hell. Having to work and being away from her. And then when I was with her, it was hard being away from the other two. It was just, it was a mess. So. All right, now I'm going to update you on her last doctor's appointment. So if you want to watch that, um, you know, stay tuned, and I'll put a link in the description. 
so you guys know what's going on with that and kind of what's the next steps. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. No, she just wants to say bye. Bye.